Well, hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> I just wanted to take a moment or two with a word of inspiration to the moms, the teachers, the Sunday school teachers, the community leaders, and those caregivers that are responsible for nurturing and caring for children. One of the things I want to share is story time. That's right, story time. One of the things that really strike me as being very, very important is teaching children how to share, how to share their time, their talent, and their treasure. Many times children say, oh, I don't want to share. I don't want to share. No, I'm not going to share. <laughs> but they'll receive. Oh, would you like some of my candy? Yes, I would. Would you like some of my soda pop? Yes, I would. Would you like to go with me to the jungle gym or the for safari or places like that to have fun. My mommy is going to take me and she said I could take a friend with me. And children will jump right on it really, really fast. But I want to talk today about a little friend of mine. Mm -hmm. You know her as the little red hen. Well, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the story behind the little red hen's Problem. See, she had a little problem with her friends, her associates, and her colleagues. And she felt really left out, unwanted, unappreciated, and she felt that people pretty much didn't want to be bothered with her. She felt that she supported everybody's vision, everybody's ministry, everybody's dream, and their businesses but nobody supported her when she had a need. See, the little red hen, and I'm just going to tell this story a little differently, just so that those who are in the faith-based community can gather it mm -hmm, and understand it. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this day that you have made. We certainly will rejoice and be glad in it. Let all that I say and all that I do be a lesson to help bless others too. And may your word reach us, touch us, bless us, deliver us, and bring change for our improvement and for our growth, I pray. Let all that hear be encouraged by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. And I am live, yes. I'm live, sweetie. So the little red hen, she went walking about one day and she pluck, 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 pluck. She found some wheat, a seed, I'm sorry, a seed on the ground. And she said, oh, I wonder what this seed is all about. What? can I do with this seed? It's just something that feels so special about this seed and I don't know what to do. So she went to the farmer, Farmer Joe, I'm gonna say. And she said, Farmer Joe, Farmer Joe, I found this seed as I was sweeping and cleaning out in the backyard. Would you please tell me what this seed is, is for? What, what would it bring? forth if I were to plant this seed. And so the farmer said, oh, little red hen, little red hen, with your outreach food ministry, you can feed lots of people because you know how to make bread in a very good way. So this seed is wheat. This seed is a seed for grain. Another word for wheat is green. Very good. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> and so she was so excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go and see if my friends will assist me, she said, and help me to plant this wheat. So she knocked on her friend's door. Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, she asked him, would you please help me to plant this seed? 
Hello, little red hen, he told her. I don't have time. I'm too busy. I've got my own stuff going on. She thought to herself, wow. And I was there for them or him when he needed my support. And I did it all for the glory of God, but never mind. I'll see if Mr. Pig will help me. So she walked on down the street. She said, I got another friend, Mr. Pig. She said, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig said, yes, little red hen, how can I help you, my friend? She said, would you help me to plant this seed? No, little red hen. Girlfriend, I'm getting ready to take me a dip into this mud. And so he said, no, and closed the door. She walked away with her head held down. She was a little sad, you know. She said, wow, I was there and supported his ministry and was the first one there to help. Never mind, never mind. I did it all to the glory of God. So she said, God will reward me. Never mind. Okay. So she said, I got one more little friend that I'm going to ask to come and help me. So she went knocking. Mr. Duck, Mr. Duck, she said, would you help me to plant this seed? Little red hen. Oh, my friend, you should have caught me at another time. I'm getting ready to go and take me a bath into this pool. Quack, 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 quack. So he waddled his little self away, honey, and dove into the pond. She walked away with her head hung down, and she said, Wow, God will reward me. And so she said, Okay, then I will do it. What? Say it with me myself because i have hungry people to feed and i have seed and so she did she planted that seed into the earth she covered it up with dirt god sent the rain and he sent the sunshine and that seed began to grow and grow and grow. And then it was fully wheat, as tall as it could be. Mm. She said, well, I can't cut all of this down. I'm going to have to go and ask for some help and get my friends to assist me. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll, 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 I'll go. Maybe they're not so busy this time. And so she called them up on the phone, Mr. Dog, Mr. Pig, and Mr. Duck. She called them individually on the phone and asked them, would you help me to cut this wheat? And each one of them told her what? And oh, they said no. So she said, very well, then I guess I will have to, by faith, do what? Do it myself. And so she did. <laughs> she cut that wheat. And then she took a little breath. She said, oh, that's hard work. Man, got at it again, cutting the wheat, cutting the wheat. And she put it in the wheelbarrow. She said, whoo. Look at how good the Lord has been to me. That's a lot of good eating I'm going to have. That's what we're going to do. We're going to feed the hungry. Because Jesus said, what you do unto the least of the little ones, you have done it unto me. And so she understood her assignment was, whatever she does or whatever she did for anyone, don't accept them. Don't expect them to support and give the same level of interest 
and your vision. So she said, okay, I don't even know if I need to even be going and asking them to help me take these, uh, this wheat to get it sifted. But I'm going to just go ask them anyway. She said, well, maybe they're not so busy today. So she went waddling and plucking as she went. And not going to each individual's door. Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, would you help me to sift this wheat? No, little red hen. I'm busy, girlfriend. And close the door. She went knocking on Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig's door. Mr. Pig didn't answer, so she pulled out her cell phone. Called and left a message. She never got a call back or a response back. She said, oh, never mind. I got one more friend. And who is that friend? Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck, Mr. Duck, Mr. Duck. She says, would you help me to sift? This wheat. Now, little red hen, quack, 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 quack. I got something else I gotta do, my friend. I'll see you later. Let me know how you made out. Let me know how you made out. And so, little red hen said, Wow, then I'll just have to do it, what? Myself. And so she did. <laughs> she didn't give up. She didn't let anybody that discouraged her and didn't support her, didn't come for her to assist her, cause her to fail. Mm -mm. She understood that soon and very soon she would see the fruit of her labor. And she knew she had an assignment, so she kept going. And she just kept going. And so she went to the farmer's uh, windmill uh, at the barn and the farmer Joe, he assisted her in sifting that wheat and making flour. And she said, Ooh, that's going to be some good bread. I can't wait, Miss Annie. I'm telling you, I can't wait. That bread is going to be good. And so she got the wind, I mean, got her her uh, flour. It turned into flour. The more the farmer sifted it and grinded it up, it got thinner, didn't it, little red hen? Yes, yes. And it became a nice powder. And so now she's ready to make the bread. So the little red hen, she went, Put everything in her house. She said, let me go and get everything ready so I can make this bread. So she got her ingredients together. Ingredients. Ingredients. She got all of her ingredients. She got eggs. She got her flour. She has her salt. She has her yeast. Her butter. And also, guess what? A pan to cook it in. And of course she had water. And so she took her time and she got it all together. She said, I'm just gonna go ahead and bake my bread, Miss Annie, because I'm not gonna worry about who doesn't see the vision. God has given me the vision. I have written it down and I have made it plain. And God, will bless me because I want to glorify heaven. So that's what I'm going to do. But she still felt a little sad because her friends didn't help. But then God had to come and tell her, what a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, all our sins and griefs to bear. Oh, and what a privilege 
to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we find so faithful. He alone our sorrows bear. Oh, and God, He knows our every weakness because in everything to God in prayer. So she prayed. And that's the song that God gave her. And she began to worship and sing melodies from her heart to God. He changed the words to that hymn and made it personal. Because our relationship with God is very personal. Mm -hmm. It's personalized. <laughs> Nobody can tell you how to praise him, how to love him how to serve him, how to honor him. But as she was singing and kneading that bread and getting it all together, she let it rise, take his time and rise. And that's what God does in our lives. He brings us up above, above the things that hurt us, above the things that trouble us and shake us and those things that get on our nerves and vex us and he tells us that you mm -hmm, should forgive and she thought about that she said mm, but they really they really could have helped me now jesus she was talking to god she said god they really didn't help me and i'm still just a little upset they wouldn't help me plant the seed they wouldn't help me to cut the wheat. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't help me to sift the wheat. And now I've got to cook all of this bread by myself. But God gave her the strength and the courage to do it because he gave her an assignment to do. And that is to feed the community. During COVID time, people needed food and they needed help, just a little assistance. And so she said, I'm going to fill my pantry full of fresh bread. And each family that comes knocking on my door, I'm going to give them a five pound bag of flour to take home with a couple of rolls of bread. That's what God told her to do. That's right. And so she couldn't stop. She was unstoppable. She said, I can't even think about giving up. So she didn't. And so she began to smell that bread. She said, ooh, that smells so good. And I'm a little hungry because I've been busy these last few days planting the seed, cutting the wheat sifting the wheat. Now I'm going to bake the bread. And so she did. Next thing you know, you heard a knock at the door. Little red hen, little red hen. And she went open her door. And guess who it was? Mr. Dog. <laughs> she said, yes. Little uh, Mr. Doug, Mr. Doug, what can I do for you? He said, little red hen, I smell that bread and honey, it smells so good. She said, well, I'm sorry, my friend, you can't come in. He said, but little red hen, come on, come on, let me come in, little red hen. Let me come in, little red hen. She said, no, Mr. Doug, Mr. Doug, mm -mm, no, no. You didn't help me plant the seed, nor did you assist me in cutting the wheat. And you didn't.
can help me to sift the wheat. So no, you can't have any of my bread. That's what you can't have. And she slammed the door in his face. How dare he, Miss Annie, come knocking at my door. Don't ask me, can he have some of my bread? When I gave him my best time, my best seed, and my best support, and they can't support me, I wish, no, no, no. Mm. She went on, she got finished, making her bread. Here comes another door, knock at the door. Little red hen, little red hen, let me in, my friend. And who do you suppose that was? The little pig and the duck. Little red hen, little red hen. How you doing, girlfriend? She said, mm -mm. no, you can't come in. You and you, no, no, no. You can't come in because you didn't help me to plant the seed. You didn't help me to cut the wheat. You didn't help me to sift the wheat. And now you want to eat my bread? Mm -mm. She closed the door, slammed it in their face. I'll eat it myself. And that's what I'm going to do. But as soon as she closed that door, God began to touch her heart. He convicted her because she loved Jesus. And she wanted to really please God. God said, no, I'm not going to hear your prayers until you forgive. And if you don't forgive other people their sins, then I am not going to forgive you for your sins. And she held her head in shame. She said, oh, <laughs> what have I done? I am supposed to be an example and lead out front and show my friends how to walk in love, how to be persistent in love, how to share. You share. Freely you have received. Freely you give. And so she said, God has given to me freely. So that's why I am given to other people. But you know what? I wasn't such a good friend just now. So she went knocking on each individual's door. She went on the third person's door and and she talked to each one of them and she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Would you please forgive me? I wasn't the best example and I certainly wasn't the best friend. And if you would like to come back to my house, you certainly can come in and have bread with me. For man shall not live by bread alone, but, but. There's a but, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, Matthew 4 and verse 4. And so the dog said, yay, little red hen, I'll go and get the jelly. I'll go and get the jelly. <laughs> I'm so excited. And the little pig said, oink, oink, oink. Oh, little red hen, I'll go and get the spam. Oh, we can cut up a few slices of spam. And we'll have a wonderful spam sandwich with the bread. And the, the duck said, oh, little red hen, I'll go and get the Kool-Aid for the smell. <laughs> Yes, honey, I'll make it raspberry lemonade. Yes, and we'll have Kool-Aid with a smile with our Spam sandwiches. And then Little Red Hen, tomorrow we'll all get together and help you to pack all of this food up and feed the community, feed the sheep, feed the people. And we're sorry, too. We need your forgiveness as well. And she said, I forgive you, I forgive you. And they said, but why were you so mean to us when we came 
to ask for some of the bread. She said, oh, well, you know what? I was upset. I was really upset because you all didn't help me plant the seed. You didn't help me to, to, cut the, to cut the wheat. You didn't help me to sift the wheat. And you didn't help me to break, bake the bread. So I felt like you didn't deserve any of my bread. I was in my feelings, and I wasn't worried about what God had to say at that time because I didn't feel like sharing. And so they said, oh, little red hen, oh, they hugged her. They said, give me a hug, my friend, and they gave her a hug. And they all asked God for forgiveness for their poor behavior and not being good stewards and not sharing and being friends. And little red hen said, remember this. Freely you have received, freely you ought to give. Whatever you do, you do it as unto the Lord, so that God may be glorified. And they sat down and they ate their spam sandwiches. And I'm just paraphrasing. This is my story. <laughs> Drank their Kool-Aid with a smile and they were friends forever. Friends forever. When good friends get together, I know we can weather any storm. Friends forever. They were friends forever. Friends are the single most extraordinary people in the world. Friends are the single most extraordinary people in the world. And the moral to the story is you have to forgive in order for your sins to be forgiven. Overlook the things that people do and forgive them for they know not what they do. And do whatever it is God says you should do. You should share and you should also expect to receive sometimes, but you won't always receive blessings from the same person that you gave to your time, your talent, your treasure. You're not always going to get it back from that person, ministry leaders. You're not always children going to receive from your friends because sometimes they, quite frankly, don't want to share. And they don't know Jesus and maybe they don't know God's way is the best way to be. So you have to be that example. And that means you have to show people how to be a. That's how you get it done. You be the bigger person. When they go low, you go high, as Michelle Obama said. And that's the end, my friend. Give the little red hand a hand. Yay! <laughs> And this has been story time with me, Miss A N N I E. And my little grandson was sitting right here listening to my story. My little grandpa. Did you like that story? If he could talk, I'm sure he would tell me he loved that story. Did you love that story, Mama? Yes, I did. Look at the people stink. Say hi. Say happy new year. <laughs> Let that be a blessing and a lesson to you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube, our Facebook, and TikTok. God bless you. Bye-bye.